time to return to the streets of Liberty City, but this time you can leave your stylus at home. Yes, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars is storming the PSP about six months or so after debuting on the Nintendo DS, and it's still packing a stellar tale of revenge, bloodshed, betrayal, and drugs that the fans remember. Here you'll play as Wang Li, the spoiled rich son of a triad leader. After his father's murder, Wang returns to Liberty City with plans of dropping off an heirloom and getting out of Dodge. But he's soon waist deep in escort missions, assassinations, and every other crime under the sun as he tries to track down his father's killer. If you played the original Chinatown Wars, avert your eyes, you'll never be able to play it again because the PSP version is so slick and pretty by comparison. Both games are told from the angle top-down perspective with some moving art cutscenes in between the killing, but the PSP does so much more with the screen space. Gone are the less than detailed buildings that did that Dr. Katz wiggle as he drove around, and in their place is a polished and smooth Liberty City. Of course, the new horsepower and shine comes with some downsides. There are now a few seconds of mini loads when you page around your PDA that can get kind of annoying as you're setting a waypoint, jumping to your email, then jumping back to your map or whatever. Plus, Poppin starts popping up towards the end of the game. Worse is the fact that autosaving on the UMD version of Chinatown Wars takes about 17 seconds to get the job done. That means after every completed mission, you get 17 seconds to sit around and reflect. Still, those issues shouldn't detract from the overall quality of this title. The story's deep and interesting, it looks great, and the music's well done. There's still no voice work for cutscenes, but you can't have everything. And now we come to the heart of the matter. What makes GTA outstanding? Well, beyond the story, it's the gameplay. Namely, the sheer amount of stuff to do. My first playthrough took me just over nine and a half hours and consisted of 71 story missions, police missions, ambulance calls, delivering Chinese food, rampages, and more. This little GTA game has everything you'd expect out of its console brethren and so much more. One of the things that you won't find in GTA 4 that rocks in Chinatown Wars is the ability to buy and sell drugs. There are dealers all over Liberty City that each specialize in a particular drug. Ecstasy, weed, coke, and so on. You can buy from and sell to these guys anytime you want, but your best bet is to wait for email tips. Learn that someone's selling their supply cheap, and you should swoop in and grab it all because eventually you're going to get a tip that someone's desperate to buy whatever you just picked up. It's like the stock market. Buy low and sell high. I'll tell you right now, if selling drugs was this easy and this much fun in real life, I'd be on the street corner right now. Of course you have to worry about the cops busting you and taking whatever you have on your person. Anything stored in your safe house will be fine. But Chinatown Wars has a unique way of dealing with the popo. Rather than having to evade the cops and lose your wanted level, here you just need to ram them off the road. It's refreshing to finish the main part of a mission, have a billion cops on your tail, and not feel like you're screwed. This knockout plan means that you always have a chance of getting away. As nice as the new cop system is, there are still some familiar issues with Chinatown Wars. For starters, just like every GTA game before it, I'm still not a fan of the lock-on system here. Holding the right shoulder button locks onto bad guys, but it can be pretty brain-dead about which one you should lock on to. Yes, you can switch targets with a D-pad, but that's a lot to ask when bolts are flying and you're holding onto your last sliver of life. Also, it's clear that this game wasn't primarily designed for the PSP, namely there's still all those touch minigames here. Since there's no touch screen in the game, you're just using button combinations, and for the most part it's alright, but there are some instances when it takes you out of the experience. It's one of those things that was fun and quirky on the DS, but here it sometimes feels like a stumble. Again, those are minuscule gripes. The majority of missions provide you with an excellent story and some really cool quests. The PSP version even gets exclusive missions with an up-and-coming reporter, Melanie Mallard. And these are some of the coolest tasks and one of the most rewarding storylines in the game. Without ruining it, Melanie's story is funny, entertaining, and unexpected. One of her missions has you driving around, tossing out a new drug at junkies, and then watching them go zombie crazy as they're all hopped up on the stuff. That's awesome. If you missed the original Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, you're a fool and deserve to be beaten with a ruler. But this PSP version should be enough to make you jump on board. It looks fantastic, it has a bunch more content, and the game itself remains great. I know I always say head to IGN for the full written review, but this time I really mean it. I haven't had the time to touch on the exclusive content you can get from the Rockstar Social Club, the multiplayer options, the ability to trade in-game stuff with online friends, and all the other hidden gems in this game. Simply put, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars is really, 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 really good. Like, for real. Go get it, but read the full written review on IGN.com first. <laughs>